Minecraft. I want to show you all my latest score. As all my friends know, I've been wanting this thing forever. Been collecting my chisels for a long time. Finally got one. Old one, but a good one. I think probably 30 plus years old. Good working order. Uh, it's a home craft by Delta. Good solid wood lathe. But, um, I forgot it originally had a switch hooked up here to turn it on and off. But as I was hauling it home, I bumped into the switch. Kind of busted it there. But that was a good thing. Because if I hadn't have busted it, I wouldn't have examined the wiring closer. And I probably burnt my shop down. Because this wiring was old, dry rotted, housing all cracked, and split open, shot. And the cord obviously had been changed. Main coming from the wall where I unplugged it. When I bought it, it looked good. But the wiring from the switch to the motor was, I mean, it was horrible. I mean, it was ran under here where I couldn't see it. And uh, I'm sure it would have burnt the house down if I tried using it like that. So, uh, in the meantime, I just put a new power cord on it directly to the motor. It had a built-in uh, toggle switch in the motor there, so... Uh, just bypass this switch out here altogether. But I do like having the switch out here where it's handy. So what I've come up with. Haven't put it on yet. Got the plug, outlet plug, and a switch. And uh, as soon as I get a box, I'm gonna mount it here where this one is. Or maybe Maybe right underneath here, out of the way. Probably, most likely, fit it right under here where I can just reach under and flip the switch. And I want the outlet on it so I can put a uh, clamp light out here somewhere where I can have a little little extra light while I'm working. Anyway, that's the plan. Anyway, the uh, gentleman I bought this from, I don't know what he made on it, but. Uh, this is a five foot wood lathe and uh, he was making something longer so he had built a extension out here where you can take this tail stalk off and move it on back here so he could work on longer projects. Done all that itself, solid. I'm not sure what he was making that was that long, but uh, hey, it works. It's all in good working order. I haven't had to do anything to it other than change the power cord. really smooth not sure what these are called but the little point there spins freely the whole uh, shaft there spins freely Y'all can see, I got a really nice collection of chisels. Probably way more than I need. But I'd bought several of these in a set. All of these Craftsman and three or four other of these here that I bought in a set off some guy before I bought my wood lathe. Because I knew that I was going to eventually buy a wood lathe. I wanted it too long. And I bought just a handful here and there garage sales and flea markets as I found them. See a couple of them there had prices on them. There's one, two, three, 
There's three that I bought individually. And uh, I think from here, here down, it all came with the lathe when I bought it. Really nice gouge there. Handle split and taped up, but it's a really nice skew. Large skew. It's a nice uh, parting gouge. Another nice parting gouge. I got a couple, three of those, four of those. From here all the way down. Um, most of these are handmade by the gentleman that I bought the wood lathe from. With the exception of these two, I think he just put a new, he just made the handles for them, rehandled them. As you can see that's definitely homemade. That's made from a large rasp or file. I've used, I've, I've tried it, it works well. Made that one. He was definitely a crafty gentleman. Uh, the gentleman I bought this from, um, he just got too old to use it. it was sitting in his basement, been sitting for several years, and uh, he just got too old to use it. He had sold his house, he sold his farm, and uh, so he was trying to sell all of the content of everything in his garage and basement. And, I just happened to find the wood lathe and uh, hate to see the gentleman have to sell everything like that but I guess a man's got to do what a man's got to do. You got to get him something a little smaller, easier to take care of. He just couldn't do the farm anymore and his woodwork. Alright, last night I got this thing cleaned up a little bit and got the cord on it. I tinkered around with it. I can remember as a kid, um, my uncle had a wood lathe in my grandfather's garage. And he'd make stuff, and I could remember him making these. And uh, of course, this is the first thing I've made on it. It's it's not really, not really that nice. But uh, once my uncle made were a lot nicer. A little billy club, I guess you call them. I made this, give it to Melissa, keep it in her car, keep behind the door, whatever she wants. These days and times, you never know when a woman might need something like that. This is just made out of a piece of firewood. Had left over from this summer, camping. Had, had it in the back of the truck for a weight. Dug through it and found a, found a piece and threw on the lathe. It's a spalted maple. Got a few little worm holes in it. Nothing fancy, just just tinkering, just doing a little practice on it. This here isn't really anything. It's just a piece of the uh, ornamental cherry that was in the neighbor's yard they cut down. Just a little scrap piece of wood I put on it just to uh, see what some of the different chisels would do. Just trying to figure out some of these chisels. All right. To be able to get this in my little bitty shop that was already too small, I had to do uh, my scroll saw. It was mounted on a stand. I kept sitting out on the floor and I never did like the stand. It was really thin, cheap metal and couldn't keep the bolts tied in it. It's really super wobbly. And uh, I caught my feet up on it while I was sitting on my stool working on it and the little, little bars in the middle there, the support bars, they would bend and just couldn't keep it tight. So I really never did like to stand anyway. So uh, I just took my scroll saw off and put on my bench, which I should have done a long time ago. I spent most of the day cleaning, cleaning my shop. And uh, 
I'm, the last few years I've just let it kind of run down, throwing stuff in, not putting nothing up, and uh, had a mess. Still got, I've still got a mess. Anyway, got the tarp there. I had to. Uh, I left my lathe out on the deck the last couple days. I just chained it to the deck and covered it up with the tarp while I until I got room for it in there, which I've got it got room now. Ran across my old uh, grill there. I'm gonna restore this summer and uh, pick that up at an antique store. It's not that old, but it's not been took very well care of. I think it's left in the box and got wet and rusted. So I'm, I'm gonna clean that up this summer. That's, that's another project that I don't have time for. Got the um, wood lathe built on this caster. Got the rollers on the bottom, the caster wheels. I can roll it in and out off the shop. Built, uh, cut some little ramps to go over the threshold. Got my floor cleaned up where I can get in and out and. Uh, Still got a long way to go get the shop cleaned up. Long way. But at least I can get my wood laid in and out now. Get it out here on the deck. So what I'm gonna do most of my work is out here on the deck. That's why I built it. So alright. Thank you all for watching.